friends welcome to another interesting tutorial on how to pad the bust i will be showing you two methods of padding the bust you can do a full bust padding and you can do a half bust padding now this is um my block the the uh, left and right side of it but i prefer to work it this way so i'll be working on fold why i prefer to work on fold is that i want to have the exact copy of it on the other side so whatever i do on one side will reflect on the other side and if i'm doing them on open if i do them on open there are those chances that there will be a uh, slight differences okay so now my pattern is on full the first thing that i will be doing is for me to identify my underboss point now before you pad the boss you need to define the second the, the parameter i beg your pardon the parameter of your boss that need to be padded and that cannot be done if you have not uh, brought into cognizance your underboss now the underboss point that i'll be working with is um The underboss that I'll be working with is 11 and a half inches. 11 and a half inches. And so I mark my 11 and a half inches from the nape of the neck up to that position and I make a knot. Then I, I measure the difference. So the difference between the boss point and the nipple point is 3 inches. So I will be using that 3 inches across to to rule my underbust line. So having marked that, I am ruling a line across to indicate my underbust line. So that is my underbust line. Let me deepen it so that. Okay. So that is my underbust line. Now the next thing that I'm going to be doing is my underbust tightening. I need to give it that um, um, uh, um, bustier effect. I need to snatch the underbust, you no, know, to, to take after the outline of the female bust. So the next thing I'm going to do is to contour my underbust. Now the underbust that I am working with in this case is um, 28 inches. Round underbust circumference is 28 inches. And as you can see, 28 divided by 4 gives me 6.5 inches. So I have marked my 6.5 inches. Now, now you, you notice that there is a dart in the underboss region, which is about a half inch dart. Usually when I am working with underboss, I, I measure it disregarding the dart because I observe that the more I contour, it with the darts the more i contour the more it gives me the snatching effect so i'm not going to add this half inch here no i'm not going to add that i'm going to use it like that so now what do i have left i have one and a half inches left this was where my underboss circumference stopped so i have this left over here that is what i'll be using to do my underboss reduction so if you notice what I have here from the side seam to that point is one and a half inches. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to, I'm going to share the one and a half inches between this side of the bust and this side of the bust. Now, the, the side bust is usually fuller than the center bust. So as I'm going to share, I'm going to give more of the snatching effect to the side bust. So since I have one and a half difference here i'm going to i'm going to subtract a half inch on this side and one inch on this side so i hope you understand what i just did after i marked out my underboss circumference it gave me here 28 inches divided by four gives me 6.5 inches so what i have left between that point and my side seam is one and a half inches that is what i'll be using for my underboss reduction so i marked out out of the one and a half i i marked out half to this side 
and one inch to this side. So if that is what I'm going to use to tighten my underboss. So I'm going to connect the waist that up to the boss point. And then I come in with my curve ruler. Please notice the way I'm using this curve ruler because how you place it is important. So I, I curve it to there. And I also do likewise on this side. I'm doing this to define the outlay of the underboss. So that is it. So what I will do now is I will continue that effect up to the dart point, the dart legs. So it's as easy as that. Now I will be working with the shoulder princess that. So what I'm going to be doing here is I will come to my shoulder point from the nip of the neck to the end of the shoulder. I am having four and a half inches. So I want to find the midpoint. Four and a half inches. The midpoint will give me two and a quarter inch. So I I not the two and a half inch inches. So I'm going to connect that to my boss point. So I have connected that to my boss point. Okay. We are we have gotten at the bustier effect of the boss. So what I will be doing next will be to cut out the dart so that I can close my boss dart and then we can begin to push boss. We can begin to pad our boss. So that is it. I am cutting that out. I am cutting it following the lines that we have marked out. Okay. Now, having done that, I am going to cut out the, I'm going to close my boss start. So I'm going to, this is how I usually close my boss start. I will leave like um, a few millimeters at the boss point so that I don't, so I'm going to close it up. So I am closing that that up. Now I'll be closing this other side too. I usually like to work like this because it makes it makes it perfectly symmetrical for both the left and the right side of my pattern. Okay, that is that. So. This is what we have. Let me continue the lines on this other side so that we can put it right. Okay. Now, the next thing that we will be doing, remember that the difference between our boss points and our underboss point is three inches. That is the three inches that I will be using to demarcate the perimeter of my bust at which I'm going to pad. So on the side bust, I'm going to mark that three, three inches. That is my three inches, which is marked there. I'm going to add one inch to that mark. Why am I adding that one? It's just like I mentioned before, that there's, there is more fullness at the side bust, at the side bust towards here than in the center bust here. 
So you can observe it in you that you have more boss at that side. So that is why I am adding that. Now at the top here, I'm simply going to add only that um, three inches different. I'm not going to add anything new on that side. So now the next thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to rule a line connecting this point to this point back to the under back to the under bust so i'm going to be connecting ruling the line from the top here through here back to here so i'm coming in with my curve ruler i usually like to work with pencils so that once i get what i want i can now Okay, that is perfect. I hope we understand that. So I have demarcated that side on my on my side boss that I am going to part. Let me explain that again with this other side of the side boss. Now, what I did there is that I noted the difference between the boss point and the under boss point. That difference is three inches. So this is the three inches from the nipple point here to the side boss. That is three inches. And I added an extra one inch because there is no more fullness of the boss towards the side than towards the center. Now, at the up here, I'm not going to add anything i'm just going to mark that difference that i had which is three inches that is what i i did there so i'm going to connect from here to the side here and back to the under boss and just like i explained i'm going to be doing that with my pencil first before i now come in with my marker so that you see clearly Okay, that is done nicely. So that is it. It is very simple to do. If you just watch this video over and over again, you are going to have it right. So now my side bust has been clearly demarcated. Now I'm going to explain something with the center bust. First and foremost, I'm going to show you the full bust padding. Then I will show the half padding. Now, when it comes to the side bust, what I usually do is I align the bust. I try to align the nipple points together that way. And then I mark where they meet. And I also come to this side. You have to keep it at an angle like it would be when you sew them up and I mark. So that is the point by the side. Then coming to the front, I'm going to measure the three inches, the three inches, which is the difference between the boss point and the nipple point. And I'm going to add an extra one inch. Why am I adding that extra one inch? Just so that every way can be well covered every way can be well covered but if you if you do not have a full chest i would advise that you should leave it at just the difference between your nipple point and your and your boss point but if you are a full chested woman you will need to pack and add that extra so i'm now coming in with my curve ruler To complete the perimeter so that is what it takes to part the bust um, the full bust so this area that I have demarcated is the area that is here this is the area where the padding will cover this area this is where we will be padding and I'm still going to show you how you will cut your pad. So that is the area that will be padding. Okay, how do you cut your pad? 
I will just show you a technique that I use. I'm going to use this brown pattern paper, assuming it is my iron on fabric. So what I do, the paper is on foam. To get these two sides, what I, I usually do is I keep I keep the paper and I trace out. I mark out the outlet. Let me come in here. I mark out the outlet this way. I mark it out this way. And I really take note of the nipple point. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with my tracing wheel and I will trace this other border. This is how I usually cut my iron on fabric, which can be my stain. So that is that. So I'm going to follow up with what I have seen. The outlay here. Sorry, you are not seeing it very well, but I am seeing it. Let me use my free hand and follow it. So I am going to cut it. Please, you can, you can label. It's very important so that you won't be confused on which way you will place it. So this is my nipple point. So I'm going to bring the two of them. This will go here. And this will go here. So I'm going to use my, my tape. So assuming it was your iron on fabric, you know you will just iron, iron it to on the back side of your fabric, you iron it. So since we are illustrating with paper, I'm just trying to show you the area how to pad it. So the essence of this padding is to redefine the bust. And give it a, a, a fullness illusion. Make it to look fuller than it would have been. Let me part that place. So that will lie flat for you to understand. Okay. So. Our side boss is padded. Now, you do the same thing. You do the same thing. I work a lot with patterns. So, it always makes things easier for me. So, I'll keep this one to align that way. I'll keep, I'll keep this one to align that way. And then, I do the same thing. I draw out. bring in my tracing wheel and I trace the outlet and on the sides I come in to trace along with my pattern you can still achieve this on full you fold the same you fold them and you cut you still achieve the same thing so whichever one comes in handy for you you can do that so, using my, my free hand, I have it there. Okay, so I'm going to cut it out now. So, 
is the padding of the center dot. If it is the warden that you need to sew, this is how you also place it and sew. Remember that all padding is in the is in the lining, not in the face of the fabric. So this is how it will be for the full bust padding. By the time you join them, you find out that okay, let me align them this way. This is how they will come out at the end of the day. You will find out that it will give you it will give you the fuller effect on the bust. Now I'm going to show you how to do the half bust padding. The half. So I will be illustrating how to make a half padding. So I bring in another center point to uh, explain to you how you can do. The side bust remains the same. Um, it doesn't matter which um, you are using, which technique you are using. So what we are also going to do in the same vein is that we are also going to mark um, three inches three inches up you're going to mark three in this case you're going to mark three inches up, which is a different that different that i had explained the difference between the bust and the under bust and then you know that this middle here you no know, the center front line in um, full line is exactly three inches which is what we used them um, the nipple to nipple point so what um i usually suggest that we do is to come in like i have marked here roll it to the middle and take it back to the under boss point i had marked in this the difference that we had here the difference that we had here and i marked it here so i'm just going to rule a curve line this way that is how I achieve my my half bust padding so that is that and I try to find the midpoint so I will be doing likewise for this side Please, I hope we understand this. Supposing you do not want the fullness to be so much, maybe because the client that you are working with, and blend this way, maybe the client that you are working with is a, has a full cup, a full boss, and you just want to enhance it a bit. This is what you will do. You will only pad the area where when you join. If you don't need to pad it full, you give some room for the bust fullness of the client. But if it's a small cup, a small cup size woman, and you want to really elaborate, this full padding is the one that is uh, most suitable because it takes care of every place and then gives the padding um, a firm illusion of a fuller bust. I hope this tutorial was um, um, effective to you it added to your knowledge please do well to subscribe click our notification channels so that whenever we bring up other diys you will be able to know follow along thank you